Hello guys, today we will be reading the America's Great Leaders. So, this book is about four presidents of the United States, starting with George Washington, the first president, by Sarah Albee, pictures by Chinko. In 1776, colonists in America declared independence from Britain. The two sides fought a war called the American Revolution. George Washington was the general who led the American army. He was brave, honest, and fair. The war lasted eight years. The Americans finally won. America was a new country. But who would lead it? Everyone knows knew the answer. George Washington. Of course, should he be a king? Should he be a president? But George shocked everyone. He did not want to be a king. He did not want to be a president. I retire, he said. In England, King George was shocked. In France, King Louis was shocked. Everyone was shocked. No one gave up power by choice. But George Washington did. Who was this man who said no thanks? George was, born, George was born in Virginia in 1732. When George was 11, his father died. George was close to his half-brother, Lawrence. When George was 19, Lawrence, Lawrence died. George inherited a big farm. It was called Mount Vernon. America was still part of Britain. French and British both wanted more land in North America. Young George was sent west to claim more land for Great Britain. With no roads, George traveled by horse, by raft, and on foot. But when he finally arrived, French soldiers, soldiers were already there. They refused to leave. George returned to Virginia. He wrote about this trip. The French king was not happy. He wanted that land for France. The French and British went to war. Some native people sided with France. So British colonists called it the French and Indian War. Young George was made a major. He and his men fought bravely on the side of Great Britain. After many years, Great Britain won, but the war had been expensive. When he was 26, George met Martha Custis. She was barely five feet tall. He was nearly six foot three. Martha was a rich widow. George was brave and handsome. She had two small children. He loved the children. They got married. <clears throat> the British wanted the colonists to help, but pay for the ranch in Indian War. The British raised taxes. They passed unfair laws. At least the Americans felt so. Finally, the colonists had enough. That's why the revolution began, as when Washington took command. British soldiers were well trained. They wore fine red coats. American soldiers were untrained. They wore shabby uniforms. With some help from the French and Americans, won with some help from the French, the Americans won many battles. The British surrendered. General George Washington was the most famous man in America. George helped create a plan for a new government. It was called the Constitution. At last, he agreed to be president. George had to figure out how to lead a new country. I walk on untrodden ground, he said. Martha became the first, first lady. George chose smart people to help him. Together, they formed the government. There, the new Congress made voice laws, new coins were minted, a new country was created. 
Everyone begged George to run for president a second time. He served four more years, but he said no to the third time. The people should choose a new leader. George knew what was best for you, country. After a few years, a few years after he retired, George died at home in Virginia. George died at home in Virginia. Thomas Jefferson called him a wise, a good, and a great man. So, this is the timeline. So, 1832. Washington is born. 1743. Washington's father dies. 1751. Washington's half brother Lawrence dies. 1753. Washington travels west to claim new land for Great Britain. 1754. The French and India War begins. Was 1759. Washington married, marries Martha Dengreed Denridge Custis. 1775. The American Revolution begins. Washington takes command of the American army. The British surrender. 1781. The British surrender at Yorktown, Virginia. 1783. America and Great Britain sign a peace treaty. The war is over. 1789. Washington is elected president. 1797. Washington steps down as president. 1799. Washington ties of a throat infection. 1802. Martha Washington dies. So that's it. So we'll see you in the next one about Alexander Hamilton. So, bye.